Uh, there's me, I sing and play guitar. There's JB, who plays bass and sings. There's Glenn, who plays keyboards and beatbox and human beatbox and tambourine and sings. And um, Clancy, who plays drums and sings. And um, I guess that lineup's been together for two years and change. It's a vehicle for expression, and that's really all there, there is to it. When I put this band together, I was responding to um, a really kind of a dried up music scene that didn't seem to have a lot of the things that I like to see in, in music. And so I just sort of wanted to create something that was an alternative to the choices that were available to people just in New York City and also in general. I think that everyone else in New York is sort of really looking over their shoulders all the time to check how people are reacting to them and we're sort of like, you know, this is take it or leave it. So I think we kind of stand out a little bit, but at the same time, um, this is a band that could only happen in New York. New York City is a huge melting pot and, and Popstar Kids is too. There is, there's not like a genre that you can classify as. There's not one way that you can classify New York City. I think it's pop music more than anything, but it's got the muscle of rock. We're all rock musicians and we all play instruments and everything, but I wanted to frame it in more of an electronic sound so that it would just sound really good on a dance floor, basically. People are looking for They're out looking for something that's not on MTV and something that's not you know, the stock thing in the Sam Goody down the street. A band like us goes on stage after some chest-beating testosterone merchants, and then we go on and, and we're singing these candy-ass <laughs> harmonies. How do you feel about that? Do you guys feel emasculated? <laughs> Sometimes they throw us on a bill with other bands that we don't make any sense with, like a real heavy, you know, <laughs> kind of band or whatever. What happens in music is people set up boundaries and they create little groups, and then each group has its own rules, and you're not supposed to mix between the groups. And if you're a Madonna fan, you're not supposed to be into Slayer. And my whole thing is I don't want to be in anybody else's group, so that gives me freedom. I can take inspiration from wherever I want and put it together and use it in whatever way I want. Sometimes we're laying a bed of raucous, you know, rhythm and groove or whatever, rhythm and, and distortion or whatever, and on top is a sweet vocal. Even songs in the set, there's a juxtaposition like that. Like, we'll have a very sweet poppy song next to a, a mu much trashier song. Our latest record is uh, a rock record that you can dance to. It's loud and aggressive, but extremely uh, loaded with ear candy. We came up with this massive collage of sounds, you know, this tapestry of, you know, beautiful audio. The meditative calm before. Storm. It has like really pop sweetness and it also has um, some very heavy parts.
sugary little singing parts and all the bells and whistles and stuff, but then the chorus just brains you senseless. A Pop Star Kids show is a celebration and everyone there is there to have a good time, including us. And the people that show up are um, very unselfconscious people who go to a show because they want to jump around and sing and, and act foolish. I generally don't think about the future because Anytime I've tried to make choices based on the future, I've always got caught up in that and failed to see what makes me happy right now. You know, I don't know where this thing is going, man, but we're going to continue to play great shows. We're going to continue to put out some great music. The future holds whatever, uh, you know, whatever it deals us. I can tell I'm